Hello, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be, I guess, putting my some diamond paintings in the, my portfolio of this size. I, yeah, I've been doing this off camera and then I was like, you know what? I'll just make a video of it. If folks watch it, folks watch it. If no, folks don't, then oh, they don't, don't. Then, so this is my, okay, so I, I was trying out my silhouette with my, with some Dollar Tree vinyl let me tell you the gold vinyl or is it was silver it was either the silver or the gold vinyl were pains to work with so i tried yeah so this is actually my fourth portfolio book of this similar size while well, i was grouping together my my 30 by 40 portfolio book and my 11 by 14 inch portfolio book so this is my fourth one. I'm actually almost done. I'm only, I only put, I've only put in one diamond painting per sleeve and I don't, I'm not planning to put in both back and forth, back and front because it's already bulging. So, so yeah, I think I, I only have a couple left. I might actually fill this with this in this video. So I have four left. I do have some, some paper from my 11 by 14, which I'll still just kind of put in here, even though it is smaller. Because, yeah, I started, I had my stuff in, in like both back and front and I just didn't like it. So then I start, I moved things around. So this has some of my stuff from my 11 by 14 because I didn't like it when it was double-sided. It just was too too wide. So I've just been putting one diamond painting per sleeve so it doesn't become too wide. So, so yeah, I do have some paper that's 11 by 14 and I, I can also cut some paper to fit the, the portfolio. So I'll move the portfolio to the side and do the first one here. So the first one, is this one here and where's my cutter here so i'm gonna put this i'm gonna use my 11 by 14 one i use my 11 by 14 and i'm gonna actually try out and see if i like doing it but i'm going to put some washi tape on the sides too. So I'm not actually going to cut it all the way to the edge here. So I'm actually purposely leaving some white. I don't know if I'll do this for everything. It's just testing to see if I feel like it's worth the extra effort. Oh, apparently I didn't even press hard on that. Yep. Maybe my, my blade's getting dull. Because I've done the washi tapes on the side for a couple of them. I'm still pondering if I, like I said, do I feel like it's worth the effort? I have the washi tape, so... <laughs> One of these for my portfolio book. In there. My garbage can to the side. So, when did I finish this? Okay. Did I actually finish it this? I thought it was like in the previous. Yeah, no, I did finish it in here. It should be in here. 
okay, here it is. I'm like, where is it? So. I do go through double-sided tape quite a bit of double-sided tape. So the t the problem with I find putting the the washi tape on the sides is some washi tape is really not sticky. So sometimes washi tape is cheap, but then it's cheap because it's not sticky. So <laughs> so some of these might not work out, but we will see. So I'm gonna just use one of my 11 by 14 pieces of paper here since I figure it would fit. Oh wait, I need to put the tape on because there's no point in me trying to center it if we're just going to move it anyway. So yeah, I just use double-sided tape. Now you don't have to do my put the washi tape on the borders um, pretty much most of them I do don't have them but I just kind of want to try it out and see if it's something I want to keep doing or just or just be like eh not worth the effort So I used to just put the piece of tape in the middle, but I found that I didn't like that. I was, I was getting, um, it was bulging at the sides and I just, or it was like bulging in there if it was not completely straight and I just didn't like that. So I, I, I've been liking it much better when I've put them on the four sides instead. I'm wondering if I even have thin enough washi tape that this is going to work that I'm talking about. Oh, my. I guess we will see. Man, it's kind of warm in here. It's the beginning of a heat wave going on now and So I'm just turning on my air conditioner here. Okay, it says it's like 85 degrees in the house. So, there. So the whirring sound you hear is me turning on the air conditioning. It does actually get pretty warm in this room, especially when I'm recording because I'm putting up, I have lights all around me to have better video. So usually when it's this hot, I'm just like, I don't, I don't turn on the lights. I don't, I don't even open my windows. I just have as minimal lighting as possible. So let's try out the washi tape thing I'm thinking. Okay, so I have, I have some glitter washi tape. Do some blue or I have some, some, yeah, I have random washi tape. Maybe if I use yellow. Or like this yellow. We'll see. We'll see if it looks if it looks decent. See the problem also with washi tape is it's okay, this is too wide. So maybe no to the washi tape on this one. Ooh, I have some thin yellow one. I think it says ever moment on it, but is it that obvious that it says ever moment? But I'm not planning to, this is not going to be, what do you call that, hanging up anywhere. So this is like one of those ones you just do for fun. So yeah, unfortunately this washi tape is a little too 
clear for this purpose. So But since I left the white border in there, I need to do this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take it out and cut it more. Yeah. Why did they brand? Why did Evermoment brand their washi tape? <laughs> I'm just trying to put it at the edge so that I have a nice corner, but maybe that won't happen. Yeah, I don't know if this whole washi tape thing is worth it, worth the effort. But how much better does this thing look? So, where's my blade? Just lightly score it so you could have the nice straight edge there. And of course, the tape doesn't seem to be that tapey. See, yeah, that's what I said. Some washi tapes are not that sticky. doesn't look too bad. There. So I know washi tape kind of sometimes peels off on the canvas, but it, to me it seems like it sticks relatively well to paper. So all I needed to do is just stick to the tiny bit of canvas there. So yeah, there is one. I don't, like I said, I don't know if the washi tape thing works that well. So next one is going to be this kiwi picture here. So, okay. We'll try the washi tape on this one too. But I think I might use a 12 by 16 inch piece of paper. This kiwi is a custom rhinestone from Kudils. I just recorded the, the finished part of the video, so I was like, I still remember it. So, here. I don't know if it's worth my effort of me keeping the, the legend here because I used crystal rhinestones and I don't keep my crystal rhinestones by DMCs. So, but because I have it, I'm just going to put it in. Okay.
could have probably used the wider tape. because it's going to be too long for my portfolio book here. Okay, so I am going to need to cut some black paper. So I have this 12 by 18 inch paper, but the portfolio book, wait, it's not I'm in the right. Book. The portfolio book is only a 30 by 40. So I end up cutting about, I cut two inches off. So that it'll be 16 and then to make it 30 I cut off just a tiny bit and I actually have um, this red red I don't know if you see it that red there to help guide me what 30 inches is I so yeah unfortunately I don't have all, all the like these portfolio books come in like a a4 is this a4 or a3 size and the u.s doesn't have a a3 size paper so this is what i have to do so oh i feel like that one is popping off See, the th problem with it being hot is like now I touch it and and it sticks to me. <laughs> so Yeah, putting these away in the portfolio books actually do take a good amount of time. I think the next two, I'm not going to bother with the washi tape. One, I think the other one is a little too big. I won't have enough space to do the washi tape thing. And the other one will just be like, yeah, maybe the washi tape thing might be a do sometimes kind of thing. I think, I think it's in the center. Think, think. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm, it's not, it's, it hasn't been worth my time to, to measure it. And if it really is that bad, I could always take it off because I've noticed that my double-sided adhesive likes the paper more than the canvas. So I can peel off the canvas and the double-sided tape will stay on the paper. So I can always put, remove it if it's really that bad. Now me putting washi tape over it might destroy the paper so I won't be able to use the paper again, but if, I, if it's to the point that I'm gonna put this on my wall or something and and then I notice that it's it's lopsided. I'll fix it then. So, so there. I do have some green sparkly tape. Does it match though? It's like might be a little off. So I might use 
this one instead. I just got it. I think I got it when it was on sale. This is like some Scotch Expressions glitter tape. I'm ho I did use I did use a couple of the rolls already and they seem they seem decent. So decently sticky. So let's let's hope it is decently sticky. So So for whatever reason, I like the the wide edge to be on the top and bottom. So So the one good thing about this is if you don't cut it directly next to the canvas, you can't tell because you're covering it with the washi tape. using the gold glitter. There. And now I have something So yeah, if, if you have a problem where you are cutting it and you can see the white edges, this might be something to try out instead. Okay, this is a much thicker washi tape there. Yeah, this is a pretty thick washi tape. It's not transparent at all. So, which is why, even though I think I'm cutting it, it's not cutting. Okay, that's really messy. I just not press hard enough? Okay. I'm always afraid of cutting through the paper that... Okay. There you go. So there is that one using the scotch glitter tape there. I think you would run out of washi tape really quickly doing this. I don't know, I never really use washi tape for around my diamond paintings, so... I figure this is a better use for around my diamond paintings than... Yeah, the gold might be too close to that one, but too late! So next one... 
is going to be this one here. So I'm going to not actually, because this one is a 30, so it's going to be pretty much dead on to the edges of my portfolio book. So no, I'm going to cut it as close to the edges as I can. There. See, I did use washi tape on this one, but it, to put on the sides, but like it peels off my canvas, and that's why I switched over to using masking tape. The masking tape is dead on there. It's not as pretty, but it doesn't peel off. So maybe it's just because I have cheap washi tape, maybe. But if I'm just going to cut it off, I don't need the fancy washi tapes on the sides. Now, if you don't cut off your corner edges, then yeah, I would, I would buy the fancy washi tape. Okay, so this one, my portfolio here. I think I need the wider tape for this one. So I haven't printed out my finished pictures yet. To finish up my journal, man. I apparently can't just put tape on straight. <laughs> there. So lots of things on my table. Can this fit this way? I'm just going to cut it in half anyway, because it was And then I'll have space to put the picture there. Okay. So this one, since it's white, I'm going to use my white 12 by 18 paper. I don't actually have much of it left. So it'll be one of those ones I don't think I'll buy again. But since I have the white, so take off two inches here. I did end up buying a longer paper cutter and just so that I could do this length here, I figure I use it enough that it seems worth the extra expense. What I was doing before was folding my piece of paper like this and then cutting it So, so this is why I still so see there's barely any edges here. So this is only going to barely fit my, my portfolio book. So, so not doing the washi tape for this one and the last one. I think that's just going to be one of those, like, do it randomly. I don't know or just stop doing it. I think the only reason I, it prompted me to use the washi tape is I saw that glitter one on sale and I was like, okay, let's, let's get this glitter one. Seems like a lot. And since I thought since it was like the Scotch brand and not just some random other brand, I thought maybe it would stick more. It has been more sticky, so.
And then there's a lot of diamond paintings now that come with washi tape. So some of my pattern ones that I wouldn't normally use, I got from diamond paintings. I wouldn't normally buy. I'm one of those boring folks. I would buy the... I would buy the, what do you call that, just the plain color, because if I'm going to use it for something like this, something that's too busy, I think would just be too busy for this purpose. But I've seen other folks, oops, oops, I... It's hot. Everything is sticking to me. I don't know if you guys have that same problem where now you're... It's hot, you're sweating, and now the drills are sticking to me. <laughs> when before I was, I was ha constantly having to put lotion on because my hands were so dry, and the drills were sticking to me because of static. Now they're sticking to me not because of static, but because... My hands! are sweating. Okay, I... This is one of those ones that maybe you would want to possibly... This is one of those ones I kind of wish it was double-sided tape. Double-sided tape I find is a little bit stickier than <laughs> poured glue. But poured glue is just easier to work with because it it's slippery so you could move the drills in place when they're not exactly in place. But, but yeah, no double-sided adhesive has its own issues too. Okay. There's that one. And the next one. So, it's a much longer video than I thought it would be. So the next one is this one. I did just finish recording the review for this one, so... Okay, sometimes this is really hard to keep the ruler and have it not move. I've been thinking about like, what can I do to make it... Because the canvas is too slippery and the ruler is not heavy enough. Sometimes it moves when I'm cutting. And I apparently am, I'm not heavy enough to hold it down. Okay, I messed up on the cutting there. So it's not straight over there. I think I might try to fix it. Can I try to fix it? Should I even try to fix it? Will it be that obvious that it's not straight? So I'm going to try to fix it. So I'm going to cut off more of the edge. No! Okay, I can see the cut. I can see the line, so... Okay. Like, I'm afraid of, like, cutting too hard, and then I don't... Maybe my... my I think I might need to replace my, my blade. I was barely having to press down before. And now I'm like, okay, maybe I have to press down a little harder. So yeah, my blade might be, although I mean, it still cuts very well. I just have to press down harder. So yeah, I think my blade might be getting to that point maybe. Nope, 
not this this one. And you don't have to use this mat and rotary blade. It's just, you could just use, cut it out with scissors. I just diamond paint apparently so much that someone, and someone re um, recommended using the rotary cutter. And I was like, you know what, let's try it out. And I've used it since. <laughs> so, plus I had it already. I had it already. And plus, everything I buy for my channel is a business expense, and this will just be taken off my taxes when I file it. That's what I like to tell myself. Every time I buy something, I'm like, I don't need that. I'm like, ooh, it's a business expense. <laughs> it's horrible, but yeah. I need, I need strange reasonings for my justification of purchases that I don't really need, but I just want. I feel at this point, any more diamond paintings I buy is just want. There's no need anymore. Do I, is there any real need for the diamond painting? No, other than enjoyment so i'm just using one of my leftover 11 by 14 inch portfolio book inserts it's from when i switched over from doing them double-sided to not double-sided so and let me tell you i i'm not like you can double-side them but they become like very rounded. They are meant for like sing, um, pieces of paper that are flat. Diamond paintings unfortunately are not flat and will add to a good amount of bulk on the portfolio books. So. All right. So there's that one. So now I could add them to my portfolio book here. I do put my diamond painting finishes. The back are the older ones and the front are the newer ones mainly so that I don't have to open up. I don't have to completely open it up to put the new, next one in. That's the main reason. So yeah, this is still one of my 11 by 14. So when I said this is my fourth one, I have two that are about this size, one 11 by 14, and then that's number three, and then this number four is this one here. And I'm gonna finish this one up with this, with these four. Then it'll be next, I could have done more, like a little bit more, but I didn't because this will fit into the 12 by 16 frame. So oh wait, this is the last one. I like putting them in order of when I finish them. This one is next. Don't ask me why I like to put them in order of when I finish them. And I will end up having to take these out again anyway later on when I do my my compilation finish video. <laughs> so it's a little easier when they're in order. So. Oh, 
my hair. My hair just gets everywhere. So yeah, here's the last one. So now, now that's a complete book here. So here's everything that I had finished recently that is going into this book here. And don't worry, I actually have my next one. I haven't made my fancy sticker here, um, but I do have another one. So here, that is all I have for today. So yes, thanks for keeping me company while I did this. I normally do this not talking to anyone but and not recording it. But that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!